Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to talk about how to set up your Omniverse environment and quickly demonstrate the workflow for exporting USD files via iClone and sending your iClone project to render in Omniverse. NVIDIA Omniverse is a powerful multi-GPU real-time simulation and collaboration platform which is based on Pixar's Universal Scene Description or USD format and NVIDIA RTX technology. You can download from the official website and if you're new to iClone you can download the iClone trial application to try for 30 days or just purchase a permanent license of the full version. Once you're at the Omniverse download page and have finished the download process, then activate the launcher to get started. You'll need to install a few applications here first, which you can find in the Exchange section. The Cache app is a service that optimizes data transfer between Nucleus and Omniverse apps and connectors on user workstations. Omniverse Create is the application built on Omniverse Kit that accelerates advanced scene composition. Omniverse Drive allows you to mount the Omniverse server to a user's Windows 10 OS as a virtual hard drive, giving users the ability to manipulate server assets in the same way as local files. Finally, you'll also find the iClone connector, which allows users to export characters, accessories, motions and materials to USD format. Once you've installed all of these, you'll be able to find them in your library. Ok, let's talk a bit about exporting your PBR shader projects from iClone. Here you can see we have a Toon style character with facial and body animation in iClone. If we go into the character materials, we can see that each character mesh is assigned a PBR shader. The quickest way to export is to use the Export USD Omniverse icon in your toolbar. Once you click this, the Export Options window will pop up. The default prim is set to World by default. In this case, we're going to change it to Megan, the character's name, and make sure we have All selected to export all of the objects in the scene. If your project only uses PBR shaders, then you'll want to set the render mode to RTX real time, which will save you time on rendering later on. We want to select the project length range for our export to cover the character animation, and also ensure that our IBL is exported, since our iClone project includes an HDRI image. Once that's done, we can go to export, which allows you to export the file to your local disk. Or else you can send to server, which will export the file to the Omniverse server, which is taken over by Nucleus. If you're an independent worker, you can still assign a virtual disk as your server in order to have more flexibility with file management. Please be aware that the file name should be the same as your prim name in order to have clearer file management. Once the export is complete, if your character has facial animation, then you'll want to start off by going to edit, preferences, USD Scale in order to enable the blend shapes. You'll need to close and relaunch Create to activate that option once you select it. Let's proceed to open the USD file from our virtual disk path. You can see the main Megan USD file along with the accompanying folder structure with the light, material and motion data. If you double click, it will open the file, which in this case is our Megan model and a flat background prop. You'll also notice that the viewport mode is set to RTX real time since we exported the project with that preset. We can select our scene camera, which is also included in the export. All of the shaders have been perfectly converted into Omniverse. However, the scene may be a bit bright due to a slight disparity in the light systems in Omniverse and iClone. First, let's select our dome light in the hierarchy and select Visible in Primary Ray. This will reveal our HDRI map in Omniverse. Then in render settings, under post processing, we can proceed to adjust the brightness of the entire project using the F number F stop value. We can also adjust the exposure and color of the main section of our dome light. Once we're done that, we can play back to view the project. As you can see, it's quite simple and easy to get your iClone projects completely set up in Omniverse in minutes. Here's a quick side-by-side -side comparison between iClone and Omniverse Create. Most objects are sent complete with the same structure. You can see this by comparing the hierarchies of the avatar, accessories, cameras, and lights. There will be one more preview camera sent to Omniverse when you export from iClone. The HDRI image used for IBL lighting in iClone will be assigned to the dome light in Omniverse. Finally, the Looks folder in Omniverse will contain all of the materials which are used in your project. 
Next, let's take a look at how to export a project which uses the digital human shader from iClone. The first thing you want to do is use the icon above the material list to convert all of the character meshes to the digital human shader first. Then proceed to open up the export options. This time, we're going to choose the RTX path trace mode for export and keep all the other settings the same as before. Now, you'll notice that when we load up the USD in Omniverse, it will take a bit longer to render in real time due to the path tracing, and the viewport mode has now been set to RTX path traced since we exported with that preset. To refine the scene lighting, we'll follow basically the same steps we did with the RTX real time example earlier by revealing the HDRI image in the background and tweaking the other post processing and exposure values to give us the visual results that we want. Since the digital human shader contains subsurface scattering technology, the light transmission on the skin is more apparent than with the PBR shader. Okay, finally, let's look at rendering the scene via Omniverse Create. We'll start off by going to Rendering, Movie Capture, which will bring up the capture settings. Here you can decide the frame rate at which you want to export. Keep in mind that the USD export preset from iClone is 60 frames per second. For our render preset, we're going to choose RTX Path Traced, which is the same as the setting we exported from iClone. If you're rendering with the Path Traced setting, it's important to set a sample per pixel value, which in this case we're setting to 64. We don't want to have motion blur in this render, and also please be aware that enabling motion blur will increase your render time exponentially. Lastly, you'll want to set an output path and a name for your rendering item. If you want to render footage or an image sequence, then please choose Capture Sequence. However, if you want to preview or render an image, then you can choose Capture Current Frame. Those are just a couple of examples of how quick and easy it is to get your iClone projects flawlessly into Omniverse to render with Pixar quality visuals. All of iClone shaders can be sent to Omniverse with a couple of clicks for stunning visual results. You can also export all of your character animations to Omniverse from iClone, regardless of whether the animation is driven by bones or blend shapes. In addition, props can be transferred over easily, complete with their animations. This includes non-human characters as well. At this time, VFX, terrains, water, speed tree, as well as material and vertex animations like soft cloth cannot be transferred over. However, we are continually updating the pipeline compatibility between iClone and Omniverse, so you can expect those in the near future. Check out our YouTube channel and Learning Center pages for more videos on the iClone to Omniverse pipeline. And don't forget to visit our forums at forum.reillusion.com. I'll see you in the next video.